tremendous result today, Steve. Well done. I mean, what impressed me, the game seemed to be won at half time at 3 0. But the players just came out and oh, wanted more. And, you know, we've got a clean sheet and scored another four goals. That's absolutely tremendous. Well, it's, it's what, what I want to instill in them that they've got to come out and do it professionally. You know, um, I went to watch them Monday, so took time out of my schedule, family schedule, and work schedule to go and watch them, give them all the information. So I expect them to do the same and knock down tools because they're, they're comfortable at 3 0. You know, and I demanded that from half time and fair play to every one of them. They come out and done exactly what I wanted them to do. Some great performances right across the pitch, obviously, defence, midfield again. The midfield really was just too strong for VCD. They, the VCD couldn't really get anything going. Parkey and Fip in there, they just win everything, don't they? Well, no, they had three in there to start with. Um, I'm not sure they knew what they wanted to do. We were sit or go forward. Um, it was just a matter of us, like I wanted to get the ball out wide. Um, and it worked, you know. You look at how many crosses we put in the box, you know, and we scored from crosses. Um, so very pleased with the whole out outcome. Nicky Reader and Charlie Webster wide, I mean, were, were brilliant today as well, weren't they? Just yeah, they both got a goal. You yeah. know, last season, relying on one person to score, you know, today, five five different scorers, was it? Six different scorers. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. just, goals have come from everywhere, from midfield, you yeah. know, from different people, from wide. Um, the centre forwards are scoring, you know. Uh, Wits come off the bench and scored again. So, I always knew there was goals in this team. It was just a matter of gelling them together. Um, at the minute we're in a purple patch because every we it seems to go in. Whereas last year, if you think back to the first few games, we were near, nearly met. You know, we had plenty of chances and we was uh, just off off target most of the time. Um, but everything seems to be clicking into place at the minute, and I'm very happy with performance today. Very happy with the weekend because I wanted the four points as I told you Saturday. And they've backed up the good work they've done on Saturday with a great result today. Oh, but without sounding greedy, I mean, it could have easily been 10, couldn't it, if everything had gone in? But that's... Yeah, possibly. But like I say, I, I just want them to do the right things. Um, I told them I don't know laughing and joking because they think it's easy and that, because that's not the way to play football. It's not the way I want my players to play. Um, I want them to be as professional as, as they can. And I say that I've got to take me off to them. Every single one of them was, was superb today. A couple of points. Obviously, Tom Fitt came off just before half time. Do we know how he is yet? Yeah, nasty, nasty challenge. Went right down his ankle. His ankle came up like a balloon, all cut. Um, bit of a doubt before the start of the game, but he wanted to push himself and see, see how it went. And it, it was fine. You know, he got a goal. Just yeah. Nine minutes in, got a goal. So, and then he's made that burst through midfield and he was just going up the gears, up the gears. And Tremendous, the wasn't it? It was. It just kept going. And it was a naughty challenge. Yeah. It was really naughty. And, like I say, we've had a few of them over the last couple of weeks and you've got to stand up to it. He's come off, Lee Kerry's come on, um, but he's okay. You know, we'll assess it again on Thursday, but it's, it's a kick on the ankle. It's quite bad at the minute, but when the bruising comes out, it should be all right. And then Luke came off? Yeah, Luke was precaution, you know, a uh, bit of hamstring problem, but not really that. I couldn't chance with Nathan Elder being missing for the next three games. Luke Luke and going as well, you know, um, so it's precaution more. Uh, get Wits on as well, get him some minutes under his belt because he's going to come into the, the, the team next week. Um, and that was it really, that was a, the full process behind that because I couldn't lose two of my big target men um, for a amount of time. You know? yeah, yeah. And then I'm bound to ask you, because supporters love all this, the penalty, because we didn't have Fib uh, and uh, we didn't have uh, Bluey. Bluey, uh, yeah. So, uh, Wits, so, Wits missed the last one at yeah. the so, thing is, I felt confident. Nicky yeah. Wheeler had an outstanding game again and, and he was confident to go and take it. And yeah. Uh, yeah. like I say, he's put it in the corner, which was good. Absolutely. Brilliant. Well done today, Steve. Thank Many you. Thanks. Thank Cheers. you.